Hello, my name is Adriel, and welcome back to another episode of the Beta Let's Play. Um, I am not with Andy once again, but I wanted to discuss things that I think would be interesting for the future of this series, um, because I think that the uh, genre of Minecraft videos that is in the beta versions of Minecraft are interesting. However, most of them are in uh, versions of... Nice. I don't have an... actually have a block or two. Okay. Um, the problem is with that most of the time is that um, they are mostly in this current version, which I think... No, it doesn't show. Okay. Uh, which is Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, as you can see right there. Um, but the problem with that is that sometimes... Uh, or sorry, there aren't any videos really that are being produced anymore for Beta 1.8, and so I think that it would be cool to at least try out Beta 1.8 for an episode, and then if we like it, then uh, we'll continue with it. I just think that it'd be cool because there are new building blocks and biomes in there, as well as the entirely new terrain generator that was added in that update, which is more familiar to newer Minecraft, but not exactly. Uh, there's, of course, some pretty big changes since then, but um, basically there are vines, iron bars... Uh, all variants of stone brick, which is stone brick, mossy stone brick, cracked stone brick, and I believe chisel stone brick, uh, as well. Are iron doors in this version? I want to say I'm not. I'm not. I'm not confident. There, okay, there is iron doors. Um, but anyway, because of course strongholds are added along with the swamp biome, which of course added vines, and uh, ravines were added, mine shafts were added, all that sort of stuff. I don't want to like create a new world, of course, because that means we'll lose all our progress, but. I think it'd be kind of cool to be able to explore the newer terrain, especially because it will probably clash. Why? Since two percent, because rain is so loud. Um, is that uh, there? Are, there are plenty of other features that I think would be cool for this, w without like going full. Actually, I think it's also villages, so we'll be able to explore some new features, but at the same time, it won't. It'll still be true to a, well, not necessarily beta, but. Uh, if you are as old as maybe me or people who are around my age, your vision of early Minecraft is going to be different from the people who their uh, early vision of Minecraft was beta. Uh, I think I started watching Mi Minecraft videos back in 2012, so that was like version 1.2 or 1.3. So like the terrain is more nostalgic, the features are more nostalgic, rather than just like, come on guys, when you look at this terrain, does this look good? Does this, does this does this ocean look good? The answer to that is probably not. I mean, it's of course subjective, but it's, it has dirt at the bottom. Also, like, I mean, that terrain doesn't look bad, but, you know, I don't know. Now, the, one of the downsides of using it, though, is that there is no skin fix for that version. So, I guess everyone will be Steve, uh, which is kind of a bummer. I don't know how to, like, jerry-rig a skin fix up from the beta 1.7 version because I don't know how to recompile classes in Java. Also, is this rain causing terrible video compression? I kind of have to check one moment. Uh, I can't really tell. Um, but anyway, other things I wanted to show around is just like I kind of just hop on the server and play whenever I want to, which it happens to be a lot, I guess. So uh, I, or I think like yesterday or something, maybe like two days ago, I covered this entire area in torches which I thought was kind of cool, because that means there's going to be no mob spawning, as well as I made sure that everything is snowproof. So you may notice that there is no snow being placed, despite the fact that there are, um, uh, fact that they're in a snowy biome. It's because there's so many torches that it's physically impossible for them to spawn. Uh, I also reclaimed this area from snow. Unfortunately, I can't get... Okay, anything that's within this bounding box right here is, um... Is spawn protected and since i'm not opt on my own server because i can't i don't have access to the nope you see i can't even break the ice uh, i don't i don't have access to my desktop which is what's hosting this so i can't well i can't do anything in here other than i guess i can grab water uh i think and uh i can use a piston i could launch some tnt into here but like there's no way to physically like directly interact with it Everything is loud all of a sudden for some reason, but okay. Uh, yeah, I just, I figured out that you can place, uh, it's just anything within here you cannot place on, but I could, if I wanted to, I could place something right there. If, like, I could place a, a block of, um, of anything right there, as long as it's, as long as I'm placing it on, on a block that's outside of the radius, 
No, I, out of the size, or just out of the radius, that explains it well. Uh, it's a, for some reason it's a 33 by 33 by, yeah, it's a 33 by 33 area for some reason, and I don't really know why. I'm assuming it's like, it's supposed to be like four chunks, because I guess this mod has been in between like a bunch of them, it's like a radius of chunks. But, um, yeah, anything within here is completely untouchable. Uh, I just decided to outline it because I thought it would be kind of interesting to see. I want to eventually cover this entire area in torches so it's safer from mobs, but I can't exactly do that right now. I also have this sign that I placed a bit ago called, uh, that says, Hello Newcomer. <laughs> so that would be, be cool to have that there in case anyone ever joins. Um, I didn't actually show this earlier, I realized I probably should have, is, um, I decided to make a farm you can see just how much wheat we have because i just afk and the farm just grows let me grab some bread and eat it um so now we don't really have health issues which is kind of nice because if you go right here into here uh it has two uh nine by nine plots which is uh you know fully loaded unfortunately it's really difficult to actually like take a harvest it because the dirt just turns sorry the farmland turns back into dirt in old versions for some reason which is one of my least favorite features but anyway yeah i spent a lot of time making this just because the wood and the excavation took a long time um i wanted to work on uh the hallway in here because oh yeah i also expanded this um I want to work on the hallway in here. It's a little hard to see the locks because I have mint mapping on, which you can probably tell, uh, considering everything gets blurry when it's like a bunch of really small textures. Maybe I should turn that off. Now we can get started. I don't really know what I'm going to do for the aesthetic of this room. I think I'm probably going to continue the cobblestone and wood theme, probably. Um, maybe a stone, maybe like stone. I don't know. That seems to be like the generic theme of this house, along with like the, you know, everything has to be stone based and wood based, I guess, because there's many other options for blocks in this version. Like, literally, we have, let's say we have dirt, cobblestone, wood, stone, logs, sand, gravel. Is there sandstone? Yes, there's sandstone. Um, you could use sandstone, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, there is, I guess we use lapis and obsidian. I mean, there's, just, there's not as many building blocks, so like, generic building blocks are very limited. In fact, I need to go cut down some trees. I think I'm at a distance on far. Yep, I do. That's why I'm lagging. Here we go. Should be a little better in a second. Why is it raining? And why does it have to rain on my parade? I like rain. It's just I don't like it when recording because it probably destroys the bitrate that I can't... Because I can't record in any higher bitrate. Otherwise, I'll get severe frame drops. I think I'm at, like... It's supposed to... I have it on, uh... What is it called? It's the kind of bitrate in OBS that, like... Where you set like a, a target and then you set a peak. Anyway, I set it to be at 3,000, which is the peak, but the target is 10,000. So I guess it's always trying to, it's hitting 3,000 and then stopping. Trying to maintain that 3,000, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, if I were to set it any higher, then I just start lagging. I could probably try the losses recording, but I don't know if that just is just more laggy. Might be. Uh, I'd love to be able to use the HEVC encoder, but the problem is is that my graphics card that doesn't exist doesn't support it. When I say doesn't exist, I mean it's integrated, so it basically doesn't exist as an APU. Uh, so, it's, it's eh. People who think that APUs are a good idea for anything but budget systems are lying to you. Because they're just good at, they're just, like, decent at graphics and CPU, like, so you get, like, a higher-end one, I guess. But, like, for, like, the graphics card, despite having 8 cores, is worse than the CPU, which is terrible in this thing. In my laptop, which is, it's just funny. Because if it has 8 cores, it should be better. <laughs> in some way. Um, like, I think I may have I don't know if I'm going to mention this, but I didn't remember mentioning at some point that my computer is good at multi-core processing, but at the same time, it's not good at any sort of processing, because it can't process things that are multi-core anyway, so it's like, what is the point? Because it has four cores, so I guess eight threads. Um, and then the, the GPU has eight cores, which I guess might mean 16 threads? I don't know if GPUs work the same, though. I don't. I haven't done lots of research into how GPUs work, because they're like... In, they're like they're, from what I've gathered, this is they're basically like their own motherboard with like their own processor and their own RAM. And their own cooling built-in cooling system, usually. Which I think is interesting, but, you know. Or for another day. 
think that's enough wood. I don't know about you, but I think we, I think it's almost two stacks is enough in order to build some pillars. I don't know. I just like collecting wood. It's pretty satisfying. Just you know, menial task. Um, I find it interesting that the main selling point of beta is that you get to build things and it will stand out more because the terrain is terrible. <laughs> well, I guess unless you go to like a if you go to like a forest mountain, sometimes they're really cool and they have like a canyon in, in the middle. And you can like you can carve out the canyon and stuff like that. Actually, that's what that's what the original Creator Forest was. But the problem is, is that that was back on my mom's computer, so I couldn't even record it. Well, I guess I could record it, but I didn't know how to record yet, so I couldn't even show you. But I did record a video uh, a long time ago on the resurgence of Creator Forest, which I think was on the Beta Land server. Uh, I could probably hop on there and see if it even exists anymore. I doubt it does, because that was like six months ago or more, probably about a year ago. Um, even so, I don't really know if I want to play Beta 1.7 nearly as much if we switch to Beta 1.8, and it's like, it's a good option, because it seems kind of silly. One of my least favorite things about Beta, uh, pre-1.8, is that the chests are just blocks. Uh, I don't like this texture or this model at all. It's awful. It doesn't even open. Anyway. Now I gotta consider how to create this area. Uh, do we want... Three block high ceiling or four block high ceiling? Is that the surface? That's the surface. Okay. This is the surface. So I guess we need to cover this in dirt first of all. Because no matter what we're doing, this needs to be... Actually, I think we need multiple stacks. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting obsidian over here because... Uh, how thick is this? Really? It's three. That escalated quickly. Damn. <laughs> Cue escalator jokes. But, um, if you guys watch Stampy, he, uh, I think he, he put up a, he put up a video basically requesting people to, uh, like do like do like a like a some sort of like job interview sort of like Stampy Short and it was I can't really explain it so I mean like I can just like reference kind of remember what I remember the video doing before I explain how this is relevant um, is that he basically it was like you are going in for a job interview and you don't know what the job is but you're still trying to like that's the whole like idea of it but so you have to like do give like and generic enough answers i guess is, is what he's kind of suggested so i recorded a thing for it and of course submitted it uh if it makes in the video that'd be cool i don't know if it will of course because you know this is the day of him posting it so it's probably very possible the people who have better vid better audio clips than me will uh you know there's like a i think in the, if you look in the description or how he explains it, it's basically there are questions in the description and you record yourself answering those questions but in some sort of character and to not use your, like, your, per you know, your, like, you as a person, just use, like, an, like, a character that you can come up with on the spot, stuff, something like that. Uh, I decided that I just, m my name would, no, oh, what I did with mine is that I was just, like, a rant, like, a space alien sort of deal, and, uh, but I still had my, like, my, the name that I go by, which is Majorlin, um, and it was, I think I could probably play the audio clip, but I don't really want to. <laughs> it's too much editing, man. Also, because it could be kind of embarrassing if it's actually doesn't actually make it in the video, so, oh well, um, so, yeah, and then I basically mentioned that I had a degree in, uh, redstone engineering, which is kind of true, because I know a decent bit of redstone, like, I know how redstone works, I just don't know the super advanced stuff, uh, but the whole idea is that, of course, you're supposed to be goofy, and, like, you know, not, don't use actual, like, stuff, in my, in my case, I'm, like, I just like using cool, cool like, real life sort of type of stuff, I don't, think it's just a really good idea to use, like, verbatim, but, um, so I, I try to give it, like, a slightly more southern accent, even though I do have, probably have a southern accent, I just can't hear it, of course, because I live in the south, and also I just decided to put in some goofy, like, answers, uh, like, I think, I think at the end I just start talking about, like, where it says, like, I have any questions for the interviewer, which is, like, you know, to another character, uh, I, I, I say, like, what is, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, what about, what about meat lovers pizza, pepperoni pizza, sausage pizza, pineapple pizza, strawberry pizza, etc. And I'm just like, and, I, and then I say, mm, I'm just, I'm now I'm hungry. <laughs> I hope that's, I hope that Stampy chooses it. That was one of the interviews. I don't know how many he's doing, of course, so if he's doing like a few, that'd be, it'd be interesting. 
to see like who actually makes it in, but if he's doing like ten or something, I'll have a better chance. I mean, if he's one or, or choose versus choosing ten, oh, that's like a one in ten uh, times the chance. So versus the other way around, which would be ten times the chance. So hopefully that he picks end up picking like more people. Uh, depending on, I guess, how long the stamp chart is, I'll probably be between like three and five minutes. So I mean, like my recording was about a minute. Uh, but then again, I also said the questions so that he would know which ones I'm responding to uh, whenever he listens to it. He will be listening to every single one of the recordings, so. How should I do, do these, like, pillars? Kind of debating. Well, no, this will have a pillar. That's for sure. It's literally, like, a pillar. Well, I mean, either way, the, I guess the format of the hallway can be different. So I guess we could do, like... This maybe. I was gonna record this episode with uh, with Andy, but he's didn't really respond in time. Also, just because I guess he didn't want to. Uh, so. Oh well. I mean, you can hop on the server and hop in Discord in time. It's just it'd be kind of strange to have someone just hop in mid mid video. What am I even doing with this? It's supposed to be three blocks apart. <laughs> The brain activity of, of making this, of recording this video has clearly been zero. You know what? I tried. And that's what matters. I'm kind of excited to end up recording a dual universe, like, videos. Um, what will probably end up happening with those is because I don't want people, like, trying to stream, quote-unquote, stream snipe me. In the sort of sense that I don't want people to try to find my location while I'm playing the game. Uh, and just, like, try to harass me, because that, that's totally something that might happen. Uh... How about this? I'm not half bad. I mean, I don't know. Also, this needs to have torches, not the other way around. Uh, and then we can start making this. Just see what. And of course, we have enough resources to be able to check and like make sure that we like how it looks. But by we, I mean me. You guys can of course also comment, but it's not like I'm gonna probably heed your comments anyway, because I don't read the comments because there are no comments. If there were comments, then I'd read the comments. Actually, I guess there's an occasional one, but. Usually there's no comments, so I don't read the comments. <laughs> you see, see where this is going? <laughs> so, I mean, if there were comments, then I'd read them, because usually whenever there's a comment, it's like, you know, people are general. I mean, they're not necessarily nice, but they're usually, like, helpful in some way. At least I think. I think they're helpful. There was a Space Engineers commentary that no longer exists. I privated the video. Uh, videos, I say. It's a, it was a series, but... I private the videos because I decided that they weren't good and I didn't like them. Also, that's an interesting thing right there. Let's see if it actually applies so you can see that. Uh, well, I mean, does it, uh, I guess we have to change that then. Okay. Okay, so we do this, and then this, and then there we go. That'll be good. Okay, I think that's, that's not bad. I mean... I'm just gonna have to fill in this and this, and also probably do this, and then just put a. Actually, well, I guess I could probably use these quadruple doors, but you know what? They're already set in stone. I can't change that. Quote the best quote 2020. It's already set in stone. We can't change that. People people would probably like to differ in that in that sentiment. Now we gotta do this room. <laughs> God, my least. This is my biggest nightmare of a room. It's right close. It's really, really close to the surface. So it's also just like, I if I would have made this one block farther this way, then it would have been like almost at the surface. So I had to like move it back. It's great. Probably should put some city on the wall. Be a good idea. Removing the surface. <laughs> it's fine. I don't want this to get blown up, so I'm just gonna put the surface a little bit farther away after I coat it in obsidian. Don't worry about it. It's, it'll be fine. Nothing nothing is wrong. This is this is the best. Only only the highest quality content. I don't even know if this is enough obsidian. <laughs> Better not mess this up, but oh well. What matters more is that the aesthetic of the land is proper, not what's underneath the land. <laughs> Pro tip, it's the aesthetics that matter more. That's f false, but, you know. 
I guess it, does, it is true to some extent. Do I have to go mine more obsidian? Well, you know what? It'll just be incomplete, and I'll just put a torch back here. It's fine. I'll fix it later. <laughs> I don't want to spend the episode mining obsidian. That just doesn't sound fun for any of us. I, I mean, I like mining obsidian occasionally. I just don't think it's great content. Who wants to watch someone mining obsidian? Nobody. It's like the cool Prius nobody meme. Or sticker. I guess it is a form of meme. Because it is a meme. You know what? I don't know my meme terminology. Isn't this pretty apparent already? <laughs> Where? I hate it. The, s the rain and the snow. I swear, it's constantly raining or snowing. It's the same as in new Minecraft. It's always raining or snowing. Awful for video compression. Unless you're doing something like a lossless recording, which really does not have any hindrance on anything. Which, I yes, I do d I do that on my other on my desktop, but I can't do it here, of course. Cause my, like I mentioned, my hardware is awful. Um... I only the only downside of doing that is that I have to render it. I'd have to render it in 2K or 4K, because uh, otherwise the bitrate would be awful on YouTube. Because like I guess it caps it depending on the uh, like actual like size of the video, not the size of the video, but like the resolution of the video. Um, I've heard I don't know if the technique would work, so I'd have to like do A/B testing by like rendering a video in 4K versus rendering a video in uh, just 10 is just 1080p. See if it changes it changes at all. You know what? Who said we needed walls anyway? I'm just gonna put a thing of glass here. See how see how the staircase likes it. Where did I put those blocks? Over here? Nope. Here. Nope. Nope. Here. Yay. Uh, do they add glass plane planes panes in a uh, beta one point eight? I don't actually know. Um, they could have. Also, I meant to turn this into wood, I just never did, for some reason. I just, I broke it, and then I just decided, nah, it looks best in stone. I think it looks better in wood, honestly. Or at least it'll be more consistent in wood. There we go. Looks more consistent. And like I said, consistency is the key to life. So if you aren't consistent on living, then, I mean, you're probably gonna be dead. These are the best best quotes in, uh, in the entirety of the world. Thank you uh, for coming out to my TED Talk, and I will uh, see you in the next one. Damn it. Whee! You're welcome. World famous re. All right, we got this. That's a big oof right there. I don't know how that chicken died. There's not even something to. There's not even not even a way to die out there, <laughs> unless you're like a player and it, when it comes to mobs. But like, chickens don't care about other mobs. They're chickens. Like whenever a thing despawns, I'm just imagining it just like keels over and dies. Rather than just like you're poofing out of existence, should be called the chicken disappears. Ch chicken dis or not chicken disappearing sound, but the animal, whatever animal or mob despawns, it should be called the disappearing sound instead of the the death sound. I don't know. It just looks a little. I feel like it looks a little wood, a little too stone in here. But if we put this as like a pillar, maybe break it up a tiny bit. Yay! <laughs> Most boring build ever. You know what? It's fine. Because at least it's not sorting inventory, because that's the most boring thing you can possibly do. That is true. Actually, well, uh, strip mining is actually more interesting, I guess, than in sorting inventory. Because <laughs> sorting inventory, you're literally just doing nothing, but it's a good toy cat stream idea, I guess. He just does random things. Well, usually on like, the laid-back streams, just, he basically essentially does nothing. 
whenever I say nothing, I mean something that's monotonous and does not require much brain activity, so it's mostly just a podcast. Uh, which I think is interesting. Okay, I think this... Nope. This is not done. Why have you done this, me? Thought we were done. Okay. Please, please. Cobble down. Right there, right there. Cool. We got this. I think that's actually it. Huh. Let's, let's walk through. Alright, let's walk through the house. Because I think this is just about how the house is relatively finished. Here is a house tour of the house. So first we got this nice white carpet with uh, a wooden roof and a little painting on the wall right here. I don't even know what this painting is, but we also have uh, a ni some nice little windows for the light to come in. Not really meant for seeing out of, of course. It's kind of hard to see out of some of these, but you get to see some pigs in the distance occasionally. Um, I am your realtor, by the way. Uh, here is our furnace room. Uh, the entire room is full of furnaces. Uh, each one of these functions, every single one you can see here, of course, you can access in use. There's also access to some of the furnaces right here. Uh, even access to specific furnace that you cannot, actually, I guess, you can't access these two uh, inside of the furnace room. So anyway, uh, we also have our mine shaft, which goes down to oblivion. Um, as shown right now, um, as well as it has this, these nice little windows uh, in this room. I may have met forgot to mention has a wooden roof little skylight right here so you can see when it's daytime uh that's two beds which are moved uh, a wool floor some chests to store your things with lots of wheat inside of it for health reasons um as well as some wood pillars cobblestone uh some also right here we have our amazing door set up we have three doors sitting right here as well as in uh squidger's room we have a quad door uh, which is the most ridiculous thing. I mean, it's it's more like a... Yeah, I guess this is a true quad door. See, they open four of them and don't even get inside. Uh, and in here we have two chests, which apparently have things inside of them. That's interesting. Uh, as well as a nice little window outside, as well as a skylight right here. Place to sleep. Um, and, so, and a bookshelf. Anyway, we gotta leave this room. And go ahead and show off the hallway, which goes over to uh, this room over here, which we don't necessarily look at yet. Um, it just looks quite nice, as shown in the video. Um, we have a doorway that will eventually go somewhere whenever I decide to build something there. Uh, we have the storage room, which is just a bunch of chests. There's obsidian through the ceiling right here for the sake of uh, showing, for the sake of not showing whenever a creeper explodes, so we can make sure our stuff isn't exploded. Um, all right, and then we go down our stairs right here, and we will find a nice, lovely underground farm that is almost done. Actually, damn, that's recording for a long time. Uh, it's almost done growing. Uh, I'll harvest it later. And uh, has some wooden pillars around the place. It's a nice aesthetic, I think, with a stone slab floor. That took a lot of stone to make, by the way. Then we continue going down our mine shaft, or our, I guess our mine stairs, mine shaft stairs. I don't know. Down to the mine shafts, which of course are generic mine shafts. Actually, this is not gen say generic, but we have our super long strip mine over here, which is what I do uh, up there. Is what Andy your Squidger does. Uh, then we also got our slime chunk, which, as shown at the beginning of the video, slimes do in fact spawn here. It is, is kind of a shock. Uh, I don't know how I managed to find this, but I did. If you sit here long enough, slimes will eventually spawn for some reason. Um, and that is it of the uh, indoors of our house. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, in the next episode, we will do something else if I figure out what to do. Uh, <laughs> this is just a ridiculous ending just to show off the entire house. You know what? It's fine. Uh, like if you liked. Subscribe if you want. I don't care. I'm not monetized. Maybe I will be eventually. I hope so. That'd be kind of cool. Just, you know, get a few cents off of YouTube videos for the, all the hard work I put into them. Anyway, see you guys all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> How do I end videos again? Which button is it? Maybe it's the enter key, the apostrophe key. No, the colon key? No, I don't think so. Maybe the L key. The L for lend instead of end. Uh, the E key? No, that just opens my inventory, doesn't it? Uh, I forgot my end recording key. Damn it. Is it is it two? No. Is it three? Is it... Maybe it's this button that says end on it. That's what it is. It says one and end. There we go. I think I... Let's see.